Welcome back to Cartagena for the third day of racing in the region of Mercia Trophy, the fourth event of the Audi Med Cup Trophy. We're just three points separated the top four going into today's racing, but Bribon and Audi Azura are starting to pull away. Things are changing here at the Audi Med Cup in both this regatta and the Series Trophy. Well, it's all going on here in Cartagena this evening. We've got a, a running race going on behind us. So if you hear the uh, sirens and people running past, and I think Lilo actually from the Italian show is out there having a run past as well. Uh, joining us in the studio this evening, we've got Simon Fry from Audi Azura Sailing Team and Juan Luis Payeth from uh, Iberdrola to talk about a crazy day of racing out there. Very, very different to what we've had in the last couple of days, guys. It's been very, very quiet over the last two days and then finally the breeze came in today. It looked really lumpy on the TV pictures that we saw. Is that the case out there? Uh, good waves, uh, a little more typical Cartagena today. Um, forecast was pretty accurate from our guy. We had uh, seven building through 16 knots. Fantastic there sailing. Mm. Well, um, we've had three days of postponements in a row here, but uh, there's always something going on in the open village to keep us entertained. And if you've ever wondered what it's like to have a grinder inside a little mini paddle boat, take a look at this. The Audi Med Cup teams demand the best from each and every team member. Racers aren't only one on the water, there's a lot of work that goes on land beforehand too. From the early hours, the teams are on the dock preparing for a big day out on the water. But this time, the race course was a little smaller than usual, down at the Audi Med Cup Open Village. The key of the car. Audi Mad Cup. Even in a paddling pool, the competition among the sailors is fierce. So that was the first race of the day, and then we moved out into the bigger race course for three Lin uh, Winwood Leeward races. Let's take a look at the TP52 fleet. Day three of the region of Murthia Trophy saw stronger breezes at the start from what we've had for the previous two days. Audi All for One made the best start on the left-hand side of the course, benefiting from the weather on that side of the course. They rounded the first mark in the lead, with Brebon very close behind. At the finish, it was Audi All for One, but just from Brebon, the overnight leader, still holding first place overall. The second start was in a building breeze, and once again, the Audi boats, but the blue one this time, made the best start. Container that made the biggest surge back from a rather poor first start, but Brebon was still very much in the match. At the top mark again, it was the Audi Azura sailing team that led. At the top of the last run, Quantum ripped their spinnaker and were compromised down the last run. Audi Azura sailing team won the race. Brebon had managed to sneak through from the compromised Quantum. The third race of the day saw a stronger start from the German boat container. Sailed in the freshest breeze of the day, the right-hand side was favorable container found the first mark first, but it was Audi Azura that once again was in the running. Container led the whole way round, and Brebon was in the mix there again too. On the last beat, container rounded in the lead, but the last run it was all on with the Italian team winner of the second race. At the finish, Audi Azura just got past to take the win. Container finished second, but only from a boat length ahead of Brebon. So two straight wins with them um, from Audi Azura cuts Brebon's lead at the top of the table to two points, but they do have a, a breather, Brebon and Audi Azura, on container and synergy. Well, far better conditions out there today. Simon, tell us about the conditions and, and what, was the, what was the key on the race course? Uh, for us, the, the key on the race course was to stay clean, uh, sail relatively conservatively, and. The target that we set ourselves today was to put ourselves in a position of a podium finish here and then to have a crack at the overall Med Cup. Okay, well if we look at, at the overall points for the, um, for the Med Cup um, for the season, 
There's just three points lying in between you and uh, Container and Quantum now. I think that's the tightest that we've ever seen. If, if we look at last year, for example, we had Emirates Team New Zealand, which had like a 28-point lead at this point of the series. How thrilled are you to be in that good position? Well, yeah, it's, I mean, this is my sixth year of Medcap racing. It's the tightest year I've ever seen. Um, last year, Emirates were gone after two, reg two regattas. Um, this year, I, I think it's going to come down to Barcelona, probably to the last race. It's going to be awesome. So that was the goal for you guys, was it? To, to get in a position here where, where Barcelona, you can win. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you can't win the regatta today, but you can definitely lose it. Um, you can't win the Med Cup today, but you can go a long way to losing it. So we just had to keep plugging away. We didn't have a great start in the first race. Um, had to chip away. We were last at the first mark. Had to chip away and just, you know, meter by meter, take a point if we could. And we were lucky enough to get back to fifth. Um, race two and race three today, we sailed you know, pretty well. Mm. Um, lucky enough to get past Container on the last run. Yeah. Um, it's a day that we'd like to keep. Okay, cool. Well, uh, the Soto 40s had a really interesting day as well. We had three windward leeward races uh, for them too. It was the Italians in the TP52 fleet with the two straight wins and British team in Goni with two straight wins in the Soto 40s. When we caught up with the Soto 40 fleet on their second day of the Audi Med Cup here in Cartagena, it was the British boat Engoni that had again a commanding lead in these conditions. Skipper Kevin Sproul took the boat across the line in first place, and second was the Spanish green boat Iberdrola. The second race of the day in fresher breezes again saw Kevin Sproul bring Engoni into the lead sailing a strong performance in the fresher breeze and they took their third win of this regatta. Second place was NH Resorts and third was Iberdrola. The final race of the day saw Iberdrola with a commanding lead after Angoni had had problems with their spinnaker at the top mark. There was a close race for second and third place. First it looked like NH Hotels would get through there but right just before the finish line, Engoni made a last surge to cross just in front. So a great day for Engoni. They've opened up a five-point lead on Iberdrola and NH Resorts, who are equal on 12 points. Well, Juan Luis, a very interesting regatta here. Things have been so clear-cut for Iberdrola in the first three regatt regattas. You've won three in a row so far. Why has things all of a sudden got difficult? Well, uh, today the waves uh, were uh, very difficult, short waves, um, with this kind of boat, uh, 42 only foot, the, uh, the waves, uh, you must change the trimming of the boat, because the, the condition today was different of the rest of the, of the season. Um, but uh, we are very happy with the last one, because we did uh, some improvement in the, in the trimming, um, and we've uh, improved the, our speed um, and we, we hope that, that tomorrow keep the same feeling than the last uh, race. Yeah, well we're expecting more uh, typical Cartagena conditions tomorrow. We've heard rumours of up to 23 knots, so that would be really quite cool for the coastal race and the TP52s and another couple of windward leeward races for the Soto 40s. We'll be back here at 12.50 uh, for Audi Midcap TV Live. We'll see you then.